So if I'm cutting here, and I know my tape is here, I never want to point the unit away from the tape. So we just saw how the, the cut quality will deteriorate as it sees less and less tape. What I want to do is a motion like this. So as I move around, I'm always facing, see how I'm sort of slowly rotating the unit? So I just, I'm always moving, just keeping an eye on the camera facing where the tape is. Uh, the alternative, like this would be bad if I go out to this edge, it's, it's kind of natural to do, but uh, you know, at some point I will not be able to see tape anymore. So don't do this, do this. That's just a, a good tip. So another common practice to avoid is uh, people, they, they're not paying attention to where the camera's facing, so they're just following their line, it's all going well, and then all of a sudden they get to the edge of the panel and they get this warning, oh, I can no longer see tape. Uh, and then without retracting, they do a big sort of thing like this. Uh, will get you worse quality cuts because of that jerky motion when you're just basically hovering in space. Uh, then if you are continually just slowly correcting your angle, uh, the orientation of the unit. So you see here, I'm just, I'm just constantly, slowly correcting my orientation rather than sudden, aggressive uh, corrections. So if you're just mindful of where the camera's pointing at all times, uh, you'll get much better quality.